Hi everyone, how you doing? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about Enneagram 9. Enneagram number 9, who are they? Enneagram 9, they are very peaceful, peaceful people. But they avoid conflict. These people don't like wala. Mm -mm. They know people that used to say, I can't shout. They are the ones. Like, mm -mm. I can't shout. They are the ones. This is because they experience life with a very low energy level and have the need to avoid tension. So, while they were growing, there were a lot of things in their lives. Probably their parents didn't expose them to, to, to such energy of um, waging conflicts or that. So, they don't even want tension at all. Instead of withstanding the tension, the nines will avoid it and leave the place. They don't want conflict. They don't want, you know, like, let me be. <laughs> so, they feel so peaceful within themselves. To them, reality consists in harmony. If they love peace and they love people being in peace. But if you cannot be in peace, they would better avoid the people or everybody. But they love peace. When conflicts do occur, they cope with them by denying the importance of such issues, of such thoughts. And the thing that is causing conflict, they will deny it. They will pretend it doesn't exist. Like, mm -mm. if you have a problem with these people, maybe the thing is even very serious. The way they will say it, like they will say, it's not even a big problem. Oh. I will just say, it's not even a big, a big problem. I don't understand. It's not even a, a big trouble. But the thing is a very big trouble. But they will make it, they will make it look like it's not a big trouble. It's not a big deal. So, and um, they will say, why get so excited? What's the big deal? Anyway, you know, like, allow me to enjoy myself. <laughs> So probably the way nice have been uh, coping with reality was caused by a lack of affection from their parents when they were growing up they didn't have enough a lot um, enough affection the love was not there so they intend to uh, just be on their own and find peace in themselves instead of finding peace around them so perhaps their parents are simply not affectionate persons or they feared to spoil their children. They have a compulsion to deny their own worth and importance. Even these people, to them, life is worthless. Like, even to them, they don't see it as a big deal. You say, ah, look at your body. What happened to you? They say, ah, it's nothing. It will to, to soon heal. It will go. Like, it's nothing. Nothing is nothing. Nothing matters to them. So, Even in their body language, they seem to say, I don't really matter. Even they, they said, I don't really matter. Um, the, they are, their bodily expressions may like want or color. Once they do not get into, once they do get into some actions, they have poor sense of distinguishing the es essential from the peripheral. As a result, they may understand they may undertake much activity that has little value or purpose. Nines are typically great TV watchers. They love watching TV. And they don't really get into things, but when they get into those things, they even do more than those that, are, that were already in it. They love watching TVs so long as the TV program remains the same. They don't like they they they're supposed to watch something around five, maybe news. They tune in, there's no news, and you know, they get discouraged very fast. Qualities. They are very present, can slow people down in a way that is needed by many. So when there's conflict, conflict, and you, you are boiling, when you look at them, only looking at the, these nines, the nine enneagram, might calm you naturally. Might feel like, ah, why am I stressing myself? Look at this, are we not in the same office? So, they put a high value on peace and harmony, which is important to any group. Yeah, they are peace, they love peace. They are quite shockproof about anything that might be disclosed to them. They rarely give much advice in reply, but they help another to see his or her problems in perspective and indicate possible way, possible 
overreactions to situation. If you come now and talk to them about what is happening to you, this, this, no matter what you say, even if you say, ah, I was going out, I want to hit somebody, boom, they have this um, shock proof. They don't, nothing moves them like that, like the way it happened. If you just say, yeah, 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 this is bam, this is, mm. You'll be surprised. Ah, is you not know, understanding what I'm saying or what? So it is just their nature. Mm -hmm. And they will try to tell you that you are the one overreacting. That that thing that happened is not actually what, what you think. So if they are in a group, you people with them in a group, you might not really get tense. They will try to calm all the tensions around you. So they say, why stand up? Why stand when you can sit? And why sit when you can lie down? To them, life is do some more, do some more in French. So are you number nine? We've just ended Enneagram one to nine. So I will come your way again to tell you how these Enneagrams, how they work. You might be Enneagram one and you have wing in ten, in nine, sorry. You might be Enneagram three and you have wing in nine. You might be Enneagram, Enneagram three and you have wing in eight. You might be Enneagram... Three, two, and have wing in seven. You might be the one you are is the one your 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 strong character, your strong behavior. Then the wing you have is it's your wings, your mood swings. When your mood swings, that is your wing. But your real character does not does not move, does not swing. So thank you very much for joining me. Please share my videos and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.